one of the greatest women to ever walk this earth, a detribalized politician whose dedication to Nigeria's cause is unmatched. Thirty-nine years later, on your Jaja celebrates the legendary exploit of the new Remy. In recognition of our contributions, the all new of Ife erected a golden statue to immortalize a virtuous person at the very heart of our alma mater, OAU. This legacy projects will expand intelligentsia on Ife rich soil and midwife many of our time in learning and culture. Your Excellency, our true mother, the first lady of our their country, I want to stand on all established protocols. Today, a day of honor and a day of appreciation. Not just from the throne of Odudua, but your alma mater, University of Ife, now known as Obafemi Awolowo University. We're all out to show appreciation for your contribution. All the mothers that are here today, you are a beacon of example and a mirror of very good reflection in terms of your charisma and your forthrightness. What you believe in, you stand by it. And also to show appreciation for staying solidly by the father of our great country, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Thank you as a mother. Thank you as a wife. Thank you as a teacher. And thank you as a mother to all of us, our their country, Nigeria. I kept reading over and over again the words of our president during your 64th birthday celebration and that's truly who you are you are dependable and that's why i pick this word to qualify who you are that truly you are dependable in all ramifications personally i have benefited from your words of wisdom your encouragement you have lifted my spirit and my soul several times in my lowest moments, I can go on and on on this throne and this journey. And I've been someone that I look up to you and your ways and your forthrightness for a very long time. During my birthday celebration, clocking the golden age, that I found favor to sit on the sacred throne of several thousands of years irrespective of my age, as a spiritual head of the entire Yoruba people, I have found favor in the presence of God and in the presence of our leaders like your good self. Thank you for all you have been doing. Thank you for your support. And I cannot thank you enough. You told me you will come and celebrate that historic moment with me. I thought about it over and over again. I decided to spin the whole story round. But you are even more worthy to be celebrated. On that note, I have been thinking over and over, what can I do to show my appreciation? For being there during my lowest moments, the words of encouragement, 
I will never forget on this point. You have been a mother, truly, and a very strong pillar of support. And you have been firm as well. I like that bit about you. Because you will see it as it is. For me, you are worthy to be celebrated every time. And that's the reason why I decided to name the 2.7 kilometer road after you to add to your legacy in your alma mater. And also to do a befitting monument to continue to remember your good legacies for every student that will pass through this university. It will be one of a sight to be old. Even in 100 years to come, 200 years to come, several centuries to come, you will be remembered in this great institution. And also to name the pavilion built for the use of the students, especially your belief in female advancement and upliftment. It is my joy today for those legacy to continue in your name. This is my only little way of showing appreciation. And I want to tell all mothers that are here today to continue to do their best, irrespective of your imperfections, and to be very dependable like our, their mother and first lady. The students of this great institution will not forget you because that is the only road in the entire institution that light will not blink because of the 24-hour electricity system powered by solar system. And a lot of students gather to benefit during blackouts within the university's community, do their assignments, and to do everything that is relevant in the course of their academic pursuits. They will always continue to remember you for good. It is now a common patrimony for all of us. We are very proud of your giant strides. You have shown that truly, truly you are dependable. During your reign, God will continue to turn things around and bless our their nation. I want all women and mothers that are here today to continue to help me pray for our First Lady that God will continue to lead her right and put her through and guide her in everything she stands for. Senator Orure Mitinubu, Indeed, you are dependable. As your robbers will say, I took book on Lenny. As Ibos will say, Owen Untu Kwasiobi. And as Awuzas will say, Nyana De Mutushi. May God bless all the works of your hand. I want to thank all the top new trees, your excellencies, all the first ladies that are here to support our mother and all the traditional rulers from the north to the south to the east and west of our their country i can only say thank you the academy that i put together for jaja arts and crafts so many orphans less privileged young teenagers in the society through the means of hard work and gifts of natural artworks that we do because I remember my growing up as an artist too. The passion for me to bring all these young people to, and from the proceeds we send them to school. And I want to tell you today that most of these young children that we combine together to do the monument for you and also the artworks that we're going to present to you as gifts to show appreciation. As students of this university, someday they will leave to remember the greatness in you. 
and you will continue to motivate them because we all came together as one big happy family to present all these things to you and i will want all of them to come out to join me to present all these monumental artworks to you to show our appreciation before we go to unveil all the various projects thank you very much